Hi, my name is Isha Jen and I'm the app developer of Autism. I want to tell you about one of my friends who has a younger brother with autism. After school, he helps his brother with his homework, plays with him, and helps around the household to take some stress off his parents. However, he gets to his homework late at night, which makes it harder for him to stay ahead in academics or get a good night rest. Autism is an app for kids with autism and their families that provides support by giving the students academic and social exercises to help them improve. To explain more in depth, Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder where individuals have difficulty with social interaction. They tend to stick to repetitive behaviors or activities, which makes changes like holidays difficult to comprehend. According to the World Health Organization, about 1 in 160 children have autism spectrum disorder. In places like Idaho, the number of developmental behavioral psychiatrists to help these students grow is nearly 0.2 per 100,000 children. This leads to a severe clinical burnout and making it nearly impossible for an individual with autism to get the support they need. More accessible support and care needs to be given to these individuals with autism. Autism is an app from, uh, for students from ages six to 12 and their families. This app provides support through fun games and exercises, push notifications for continuous activity, learning and growth tracking through statistics, graphs, and badges, and it also maintains user privacy. Some unique elements within the app include gamification, fundamental exercises, and AI to customize their interests. To get into the specifics, here are some of the app designs incorporated within Autism. The puzzles page has various types of puzzles that are proven to help students with Autism. This includes jigsaw puzzles, art, music, and more. There will also be a daily puzzle to encourage them to continue using the app. The practice page includes exercises sorted in various categories. For example, in the English category, they have reading comprehension, verbal exercises, and practice conversations. The stats tab includes their growth and time spent on the app so that students with autism and their families can track their improvement and gain confidence. It will encourage them to interact with others and grow tolerance as well. The free model incorporates all the features discussed on the previous slides. However, the premium model, which is only $5 per month, will allow users to email results to their supervisors, connect a teacher account, and make practice exercises in art and CT courses, making the app overall more school friendly. Autism is faced with many competitors in this industry, some of which include Prolingo 2, Meta, Endless Reader, and Therapy. Since Autism is an app, it is accessible from any place or time, while allowing for one on one guidance for the individual student. This provides many benefits to students who cannot easily access therapists or can't afford one. Based on data from other educational apps, this app takes around three months to develop with a team of five to 10 people. This team will work to build all the components, including the course, a database, AI, and an integration of the premium model. Since educational apps are the third most popular app store category, the predicted e-learning market is suggested to grow $243 billion by 2022. Now, additionally, since around 930 million people downloaded educational apps in 2020, I estimate that nearly all autism patients will download autism if published onto the App Store right now. Since this is a remote company, our startup costs are reduced compared to other companies. $9,000 will go into buying office computers for the original five to 10 workers and any office equipment necessary. Additionally, the best databases, license, and other required supplies will be purchased using $3,000. These $12,000 will be paid through equity injunction, startup investors, local support, and a business loan. As this business grows, more support and business management will be required. Since this is an app, having a remote company will reduce expenses of maintaining a building while also allowing for 500 worldwide employees. For business growth, our company rely highly on advertising and conferences to spread the word about autism. We will also get supporting medical perspectives and certifications. 
Most critically, we will ensure that autism remains high quality. Additionally, uh, more costs will need to be considered. Some of our sales will come from fundraisers throughout the year. However, most sales will come from revenue from the premium subscription model, leading to a close total of 1.26 billion. Many expenses include employee salary, supplies, and travel. However, we will also have to buy a warehouse for any possible physical materials. And we're also donating money to local autism charities. This will result in nearly $1.2 billion worth of expenses and a net profit of approximately 50 million, leaving lots of room for unexpected expenses. We need to provide support to students with autism to help them grow confidence in themselves and reach their truest potential. Spread the word about autism so we can begin transforming the world into a more inclusive and innovative space. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Isha, I don't know a whole, I'm not an expert at all on autism. Is there any data that shows the effectiveness of apps in terms of um, helping people engage with others as opposed to just engaging with the device? Yes, according to Carnman Autism Center, having a high quality autism apps helps these students gain confidence and assists in developing skills like social interaction and academics, especially if you use gamification, as said by the University Dad District University, like I do in AutoZone. Do you have app programming skills? Are you starting the coding yourself or? Yeah. Uh, so over the quarantine, I gained interest in um, app development, which is uh, a lot of which contributed to why I built Autism. And um, with my skills with app development, I believe that I can use those skills to build Autism. So do you have a functioning beta right now? Um, not at the moment, but I think that um, over time, I'll be able to develop the complete app. So that is your is your plan to finish this project? Yes, since I am currently a freshman at um, in like high school, I think that it isn't currently feasible for me. But when I go into college, I definitely am considering pursuing this. Oh, sales of one point two billion! You can go on Shark Tank <laughs> yeah. and sell that one pretty easy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I never would have guessed you were a freshman in high school. You did a very, very nice very job composed. on the presentation. Yes. Wow, thank you. Did you seek out any consultants to help you put financials together or uh, any other outside resources to? I didn't consult um, experts directly, but I did a lot of research based on existing autism apps. And also, as I showed you previously with these type of slides, I used my research from trustable um, sources. All righty, well, thank you. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Good luck thank with you. it. Thank you so much.